One of the reasons, the main reasons we do what we do is to hold government and government officials accountable, to keep watch over taxpayer dollars and to make sure they're spent well. Our Action News Jax investigation reveals how one of the highest paying public jobs in the city comes with big perks and big spending. If you live in Duval County, you pay the CEO of the Jacksonville Transportation Authority. He makes more than half a million dollars and travels across the world on JTA's dime. So I pulled the records and found it's happening while the agency's ridership dwindles and promises for promptness fall short. Meet Nat Ford, the CEO of the city's transportation authority. He's in charge of buses, the ever unpopular Skyway and St. John's River Ferry. But when it comes to doing business, records show the executive rarely, if ever, uses any of them. But he is a frequent flyer. And while Ford jet sets, an Action News Jack's investigation found that locals are using public transportation less and less often, too. We pulled the numbers. According to the American Public Transportation Association, ridership is down almost half since the pandemic. And JTA's numbers show the agency sometimes fails to meet its own on-time standards. And while ridership dwindles, Action News Jacks found the man in charge is often missing too. We pulled Ford's travel records. Since 2016, Action News Jacks investigates found Ford took 140 trips on the public dollar. He's spent more than 40000 dollars just on DC travel alone and he doesn't only jet set to domestic locales he's stamped his passport at least a dozen times hitting Berlin Barcelona and London just this year all those miles add up to more than one hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars a bill footed by you the taxpayer I'm not for we asked Ford for a sit down interview to talk about his travel he declined, so we caught up with him at a press conference. We want to talk to you about your travel. Can you yeah. explain why you're out of town so frequently? Well, I don't know if so frequently is the way to describe it. But not counting personal vacation or holidays, we found Ford is out of town an average of twice a month for multiple days each time. Records show most of the travel is to conferences, the rest somehow transit related. Even a JTA spokesperson says the conference of mayors or the sister city's delegation to Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm a high uh energy individual, so in addition to the travel and the, I'd say the national associations I'm leading, I'm sitting at the table with those decision makers and those influencers that are making policy decisions around transportation. And we found he is being paid well to do that. In addition to his $189,000 travel tab, Ford makes almost $460,000 a year. That's more than President Joe Biden makes, and significantly more than the top transportation executives in Chicago and New York City make, two of the largest public transit systems in the U.S. And that doesn't even include his upcoming yearly bonus of almost $92,000, or his annual cost of living adjustment set to be at least $13,000 on top of that or his $50,000 a year deferred compensation, or his $1,000 a month allowance for his personal vehicle. I'm doing everything within my power, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to support the citizens in this community, and that record is pretty clear and evident. Except with ridership down, questionable on-time rates, and more than generous spending on executive travel, we still had questions, and Ford didn't want to answer them. The Emerald Trail so, uh, Community I, I Service. Think, uh, no, I, well, I mean, this people, is important. Other, yeah, this is I important, this work, but I think we, I've got other But ridership is down. Ridership well, has ridership, not recovered from the pandemic. Support, I'm going to take additional questions that you have to me. We have to let yeah. these other gentlemen have their time. Yeah. We don't have a limited amount of time. Okay. And that is where our interview ended. I've been digging into JTA since June, but over the weekend, the agency came back with data saying that ridership this year is about 12% higher than last year. And that's true. Last year was down almost 47% from pre-pandemic numbers. This year, it's only down 43. In the meantime, Mr. Ford's contract states that he, quote, shall perform his duties primarily in Jacksonville. But so far this year, he's taken 20 trips out of town. So considering his busy travel schedule, we wanted to know how often he's actually in the office. So last Monday, we requested his badge access history for this year. We're still waiting on that. 
But coming up next, we'll address Mr. Ford's claim that his travel is to lobby for JTA. So tomorrow at 6 p.m., I'll look into the ethics and the potential redundant spending associated with that.